Okay, this how-to video is going to go through some, some blind and buried micro core via um, addition using the AllCAD PCB Designer standard license of tools. Um, we can do this in AllCAD standard, we can do this in AllCAD professional, we can also do this in an Allegro PCB Designer. Um, so what we need to do is obviously set up some blind and buried vias first. Um, and what you would normally do is do this on a design by design basis, it's actually a, a, a database based function. If we're going to set up BB via definitions and define BB via, we effectively specify a BB via pad stack name. This normally is recommended that you include kind of a, a, a one to two, two to three layer setup information. You pick a pad stack to copy and then you will specify the start and end layers where you want the via to, to start and finish. Once that's added, you would then go to constraint manager go to the physical rule, you go to the vias area of, of each rule set effectively uh, and then you can then add the database based vias into this list. So in this first example I've got a micro vial which goes effectively from layer 1 to layer 2, a core vial from layer 2 to layer 5 and then another micro vial from 5 to 6. I've also got a through hole vial that goes all the way through and we can show you how to use that one if you didn't want to use this kind of arrangement. And you would set up your rules based on using the vias sets here. You can also use this pad to pad to connect option to allow whether you want a via to, to connect as it's stacked on top of each other. So in this first example we're not allowed, in this one we can stack on any single layer and on this one we can only stack effectively between layer 1 and layer 2 and layer 5 and layer 6. Okay so we start with the, with the add connect command or root connect or F3 or we can also use the etch edit mode to start routing um, and in the options menu you may traditionally normally see the, the active and alternative method so we can go top to a specific layer and you pick the layer pairs that you wish to route between. Um, if we change this drop down to WL or working layer we can activate the layers that we want to route on and then we only get effectively an active layer. I then click on a track and I start to route and I double click to add a via and instead of adding a via based on the active and alternative mode I get a pop-up. Now if I wanted to go from the bottom to the top, I click on the layer that I wish to go to. Now what happens here because I've got this, this BB via definition set up, it adds the first via between layer five and or layer six and layer five. It then gives me the next via available to place. This is going to be available at 22 and a half degrees around this via. The spacing is set up from the same net spacing rules, which I'll cover a little bit later. Um, and then it, I click to add that via, it then adds the next via going along until I'm ready to finish that track. Now you can see I get some via labels, layer 1 to layer 2, layer 2 to layer 5, layer 5 to layer 6. Let's just do a window select of all of these, right mouse button, 3D view. You can see effectively I've got a 3D view of the, the via arrangement that I have. The spacing setup is controlled in Constraint Manager. So if we go to the same net spacing, because it's on the same net, we'll look at the vias and on VD0 we're using a default rule. Effectively it gives me the ability to have 0.1 of a, of a millimetre between all of the BB vias. The via labels here are controlled from setup design parameters. I've got a checkbox to turn the via labels on, and then there's also a color option under the display folder, so I, look, I can look at the via label option here. Okay, let's go and add another one. So we'll click on the next net, we'll double click to add a via. Um, if you remember from the via list, um, there was also a through hole via, so if I didn't want to use this kind of this micro via setup, I can actually click on the checkbox here pick the via 26 and then that would add the through hole via going all the way through. Let's just uh, oops that. So let's double click to add a via. We'll pick the top this time. Now you can see that the spacing this time is actually it's, it's tangent to it's touching the via and the way I would do that is set up the same net spacing for BB via to be zero basically in constraint manager. So what we'll do is we're going to add another one on VD3. We'll double click. We'll go to the top. Now this is adding a slightly different um, arrangement, although it looks very similar, you can see that the via labels are effectively showing one to three rather than the colon. So if we select these and do a 3D view, what we can see is we've actually got two BB via stacked on top of each other, one from layer one to layer two, one from layer two to layer three, there's my core via and then we've got a mirror on the bottom. This is controlled in constraint manager, so if we go to the physical rules, you can see that we're effectively stacking the microvire option. The microvire is individually defined, so it's one to two, two to three, three to four, etc., all the way through. And I've got effectively vires to vires. I can stack them on the outer layers only. So not allowed on the inner layers. I can stack them on the outer layers. Now I can also let's do a. We'll hover over this vire and slide it. 
Um, I can actually split this stack out. So let's take the top one out. I then get the via arrangement. This changes to a, effectively a via two to three, one to two. If I do a window select of this, and do a 3D view, you can see I get the individual blind and buried via. I can also slide this back in. Let's just make sure we're... Uh, And you can see that the via then goes back to the to the dash one to three. So this then gives me the default arrangement, 3D view, and I've got them stacked one top of another. The final option we have, um, if we pick this, when we double click, is we're going to go to the, the top player again, is it's going to add all the vias on top of one another. So let's do a window select, 3D view. You can see the individual vias. So I've got one, two, three, four, five different vias going between the different layers. This is controlled again from a physical constraint point of view. I've got the stack all vias. All vias are allowed to be stacked, which would make the connection going through the board. The same net spacing rules control the different uh, or the control the different BB via rule areas. So let's look at um, the difference. We've got tangent vias, which give us the zero amount between a BB via. So BB via to BB via, we've got a zero. We can have a larger spacing on the different layers if we wish to.